this is their guy. This is who they're running cover for. This is who they've been running cover for for a long three and a half years. Okay? They have been running. This guy has lost his mind, bro. I can't believe they still are using this man. It's abuse. It really is. It really is. Here's Joe Biden, sleepy Joe, ready to go to bed. One of my staff members said, remember the famous song, you know, good morning, Vietnam. Well, good evening, Vietnam. My brother loves having there's famous lines from movies that he always quotes. You know, and one of them is there is, there's a movie about John Wayne. He's an Indian scout. The Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union soldier and says, he's a lion, dog-faced pony soldier. True to National Depression, that's all I ever hear. Well, there's a lot of lion, dog-faced pony soldiers out there about, about global warming, but not anymore. I'm just following my orders here. Staff, is there anybody? I'm just following my orders here. That's your leader. That's the leader of the free world. Follow your orders here. Oh, man. Sleepy Joe, man. They're still running cover for him, man. Like, seriously. If you believe that this man is qualified, what does that say about you? They haven't spoken to, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank, thank you, everybody. This ends the press conference. He all <laughs> He's got to go to bed. Bro, Sleepy Joe. Come on, man. There ain't no way in the world you can make this up. So lost track of, of his of those are what we're going to be asking questions to him. and got confused because yeah. they have to give him the list of who the reporters are and in what order that they're actually going to speak to him. In. Yeah, and as he responds once again, and we talked about this last week too, once again, he is telling us that he's taking orders from someone else. So, it, you know, he's yeah. doing nothing to dispel the, the perception that someone... Look how slow he's walking up the steps. They said he's ahead of Trump. <laughs> okay. Go watch a Trump rally right now. I don't care if you're a raging liberal. Go watch a Trump rally right now. Just watch it. Just watch about 10 minutes of it. Watch when they turn their cameras around to look at the crowd, bro. Listen to Trump talk. Okay? And then watch this video of Joe Biden slowly walking up the steps so he doesn't fall. How many times is it? About 10 times right now? I see a leader. Else is running the show and he's a puppet. And by the way, the people running the show are not doing. And by the way, like, like, you chose this guy. If you chose this man, if you voted for this man, right? Like, what does that say about your judgment skills? Like, what does that say about? I mean, I know some of you guys. Oh, we don't like to judge people. You're actually supposed to do that biblically. If you're a right standing with God, you're supposed to call out the wickedness. You're supposed to call things out. You're supposed to call it out as a Christian. You're supposed to do that. When you see something wrong, you need to say something. Being cowardly is, dude, God hates a coward. It's in the Bible. What, what are your judgment skills like if you've chosen this man? Why should we trust you? Why? I'm just a very good job. I was stunned by the fact that he hadn't run through the names. He stumbled over every single one. Yes, they were sort of complicated names, but you know what you do before the president goes out there? You say, here's who the names are. Practice saying them so you, I, you don't look like a complete idiot when you... You, know, you shouldn't even have to practice. If you're telling the truth, the words should just come right off your tongue, okay? You should just be able to get up there and speak to the nation. You shouldn't need a teleprompter, really. I mean, I'm not saying Trump doesn't use a teleprompter. I don't, or, or, you know, I don't, I have no idea, but you can't tell if he does. And even if he does, I'm sure it's just to help him out. I mean, I probably would use some sort of uh, bullet point or something, but this man can't do anything without somebody telling him what to do or showing him a guide him or holding his hand. That's not a leader, man. Anybody that owns a business knows this. This would be the, I wouldn't even hire Joe Biden to wash toilets. I, would, I wouldn't even do it. I'm sorry, I would not even hire this man to clean. 
to get out yeah. there. I mean, I, I really thought the entire uh, G20 and everything, he just constantly was caught looking confused, not knowing where to go. Uh, I thought the whole thing was an embarrassment. He is an embarrassment. And yeah. I think what she's saying is so true. And I don't hate Joe Biden. I hate what he's doing and I hate what he's about. And I hate the cowardness that's going on. But she's absolutely right. It's an absolute embarrassment. Man, we just we need we need change. We need like real leadership, man. Like someone that really cares about the American people, man. We want to thrive, you know. This is not how we do it. Not with a weak leader, man. I'm sorry, it's never gonna happen. I think he's also a risk to this country. We're gonna talk about it because many Senate Democrats, uh, speaking of course off the record, uh, have talked about their concerns about this president as we move into 2024. Yeah, and that's becoming more and more of a problem. And really the only the only tool he has in his toolkit right now is to try to tell some sort of a relatable story, and he doesn't have any relatable stories. He I mean, whether up. it's <laughs> a, a kitchen fire when he's in Maui, thank goodness he's not in New York, because he would probably tell some off-color story about him being on an airplane. Mm -hmm. He can't relate to the American people, and he, he continues to try that tactic, but it's not working. Yeah. Everyone can see this. It's, it's nothing new. People know that Joe Biden is compromised. He's completely controlled. Everything he's doing is to ruin our country on purpose. From a sun smoking crack to the business dealings. It's a huge kick in the face and a wake up call to the American people, man. We got real patriots standing behind us. They know that and they know that they're outnumbered. Keep fighting. Do not. Let them convince you that Trump is somehow losing to this man, bro. Just look at it. Just look at the big picture. Look at the 30,000 foot view. Just look at it. Hey, look, like and subscribe for more great content, guys. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. And until next time, I'll see you.